Welcome to another demonstration of electrocoagulation. My name is Juan Carlos Herrera with Clean Environmental Solutions. This sample you're looking at contains about 200 parts per million hexavalent chromium and is about to be treated by electrocoagulation. In this demonstration, as you can see, once the electricity starts flowing, as you see right now, the hexavalent chromium is immediately reduced from hexavalent form to trivalent form and at the same time the sacrificial anode produces the metal hydroxides that will end up producing the coagulants that are going to absorb the chromium trivalent hydroxide forms to begin to form the precipitate or the flock. Now, after the electrocoagulation process, adding just a few drops of polymer, you can see the coagulation happening where all the flock begins to precipitate out. After only a few seconds, the weight of the coagulants bring the flock or sludge, I should say, precipitate them to the bottom. You can appreciate the crystal clear water on top, which is one of the advantages of electrocoagulation, that it is basically just removing separating the water molecules that were attached to the hexavalent chromium molecule in solution before. This will be completely impossible with simple chemical coagulation as it will require chemicals to reduce the hexavalent chromium to trivalent and then have a very careful pH adjustment to be able to precipitate it out. Chemical coagulation also produces a sludge with very high bound water content and electrocoagulation doesn't. The nature of the flock or the sludge is dramatically different than the one from chemical coagulation. And here again is our final product. See you next time.